Hey, it's your boy Nathan, AKA Six Cinema. Welcome back to the channel. I got a good video for you today. We are gonna be testing out the cameras on the iPhone 12 Pro. Not the Pro Max, the Pro. So we're gonna walk around the city today. We're just gonna test out all the different cameras on this phone, like I said. I've been using it for about a month now, and honestly, the ultra wide is definitely my favorite lens on this camera. And I knew it was gonna be my favorite going in, and that's the reason why I upgraded my phone from the 7 Plus. The 7 Plus is a little old. The camera wasn't the greatest, and it was slowing down because it's Apple, you know they're gonna do it. But this ultra wide camera is ridiculous. I understand why people just use phones now to shoot. Even like this video right now that I'm recording. So I took a look quick at all the other things that I recorded and this video is ridiculous. And the stabilization on phones is also ridiculous because my hand is bouncing around a lot right now. And when I look back at the playback, it looks pretty smooth. So the 12 Pro doesn't have the sensor stabilization like the Max does but it still does a great job and iPhone cameras have been doing a great job for a while. So I'm not surprised, but at the same time I am. Can't get over this wide angle lens. Like I don't know how I went through life not having a wide angle lens. I'm so used to having my a6600 when I'm vlogging and because it's a crop sensor, I don't really get a full wide angle lens with this 16 to 55 that I have on it. I believe it goes to about a 24, which is still okay for vlogging, but being able to have this super, super wide angle, you can see a lot more in the frame. Like you can probably see the CN Tower in the background right there. I'm probably gonna sit in around this spot for a while because I know I can get some awesome photos here. I might set this up on a tripod and get a quick time lapse and see how the time lapse is on this phone. It's probably gonna be ridiculously good like everything else on this phone, but let's just go check that out. Okay, so I just realized there's actually a better spot to do a time lapse and you can still get the CN Tower and the rest of the skyline in the background. So we're gonna move over there. I do have my phone set up on my tripod. So I bought this really cheap phone clamp on Amazon. Um, it's a newer clamp and honestly, it's probably one of the best things I bought because I can put this on a tripod, I can put it on my gimbal and I can get even more buttery smooth shots with this phone on the gimbal. The one thing you might need is some counterweights because the phone's too light and you can't really balance it on a gimbal properly. But once you're able to do that, it will work out perfectly fine. So I'll leave this newer uh, phone clamp in the description below, just in case you want to check it out. So I got my iPhone 12 Pro just down here doing its thing, catching the time lapse of the city right here. I'm kind of hidden from the wind here, so it's not as cold as it was earlier when I was over by BMO. But hey, I got a view. It's nice and warm, got my time lapse going. Beautiful day, beautiful day, baby. So I don't know if I trust this, but supposedly iPhones are resistant to depths of what, 50 meters now? I don't know what the exact number is. I'll put it up on the screen, but I am gonna dunk this in the water. Hopefully it doesn't screw up my phone, but the water's clear and there's ducks over there. So it might be cool. I think my phone's good, but the microphone might be a little uh, wonky right now. I guess I won't find out until after I record this, but the shot looked dope, so. I still do love the ultra wide camera, but the one thing that I've noticed and I kind of hate is that whenever I'm taking photos in vertical, AKA portrait, my finger gets caught in the camera. Like I'll throw a couple up on the screen, but just my knuckle at the bottom, because the way I'm holding the camera when I'm taking a portrait photo, 
it just somehow gets in the lens like that's how ultra wide this lens is and like i said the, the ultra wide lens is ridiculous and i still love it but the one thing i'm gonna have to work on obviously is how i hold the camera because i don't want my fingers in my photos Since the iPhone 12 Pro is 4K 60, you're able to get some slow shots out of that 4K capability, which means you get some crispy, crispy video and you're able to slow it down, which I do a lot. So 4K 60 is the setting that I usually have this camera on, especially when I'm shooting B-roll. Right now, just on the standoff, I'm doing 24 frames because, you know, 24 frames per second. Everyone loves it. I haven't been able to test out the uh, super slow-mo uh, footage right now. It is only 1080, but you do get 120 frames per second and 240 frames. I don't know how much I'm actually gonna use that. Maybe if I want to slow down my golf swing and see how bad I swing, uh, I would use that. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, the sleeper feature about this phone is you can stand it up on its own without a tripod. Because that's what I'm doing right now. So we got a lot of dope shots today. We got some awesome video. We got some awesome pictures. I put the phone in the water. It still has water in the case. You can't see it right now, but on the back of my case, there's still water in between the phone and the case. So we put this thing through the ringer. It honestly performed amazing. That 4K footage is always crisp and you can shoot 60 frames per second. I can't wait for them to bring in that raw capability for the photos because when we get this in Lightroom, we're gonna have some fire, fire pics. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. Also, hit me up on my Instagram at 6cinema. That's where I'm gonna be posting a lot of my photos. I might throw up a couple from today. Who knows? I gotta take them out in Lightroom first. We'll see how it goes. It is freezing out here. It is super windy. I don't even know if you can hear me, but we got the CN Tower in the background. Trains going by. It's a good day. All right, I hope you liked the video. Take it easy. Peace.